Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we made it back to the Airbnb. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. All right. We, are we all going to catch? <laughs> no, it's all on you. Oh my God! Oh. Also, this is a really nice little Airbnb. Check it out. So we're staying here with a bunch of other reseller friends that we met at reseller conferences. And this place is amazing. Look, there's downstairs and a bunch of bedrooms. I think this is our room. It's really nice. How big this place is. More beds. There's like a little game area. <laughs> This house is huge. So yeah, it's like a little, it's like a little reseller retreat. We're gonna be here for four days, sourcing in Denver. And it should be fun. We're going to the bins early tomorrow, so yeah. Day two. Oh. It's Disney. It's so cute. But I've never seen Mickey with a tail. Why does Mickey have a tail? <laughs> Some of these lush dresses are this good. Brand? This brand? Ooh, what is this? Ooh, what is this? What is this? It's huge. Is it a poncho? Is it a poncho? Lame. What? Oh, it is a poncho. It is a poncho. What it brand is like, it? There's a thing on there. It feels nice. It's over here. It feels very nice. What is it? It is ML Kessler Cottage Industries. Name of Peru. Yep. Handmade in that. Peru. That's $50. Handmade in Peru. That is funny though that it was like, I want a t-shirt. It was a wrestling t-shirt and then here's one at the bins. It's an XL. Should I get it? Should I get it? Should um, I get it? Should I get it? Should I get it? Should I don't I think it? it's very cool. You're but not you cool. want it, so you should get it. You're not very cool. What is this? Salad. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's how we like our salad in a giant bowl. So you can just you toss, toss your salad. salad. I don't want my salad falling out of my bowl. Fourteen dollars and seventy-one cents for a bag of stuffs. Full bag. Full bag. Heavy bag. Actually, yeah. Brand new Goodwill bins that just opened up. New bins. New bins. You filming? Grand opening. Is this hey. Hey. Hi. Hello. Hello. New bins. Room. They had to find the address on their Instagram post. Really? They couldn't even find it's out so empty. the maps. <laughs> cool. That's so cool though. But it's so yeah. cool. Tiger. Made in the USA? No way. That's crazy. That is so funny. Right? The full fit. Is it, is it 90s? Yeah, yeah I would say so. Well, it was made in Korea. I would say so. It reminds me of like the uh, Atlanta okay, Olympics thing. Yeah. I found this cool vintage Denver Broncos shirt, which we sold already for $13. I also found this vintage church shirt, and that only sold for a dollar, so we lost money on that. It's Tinker! It's Tinker. <laughs> Put it on! I'm so excited! <laughs> I was gonna give it to Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. But oh. I wanted to give it to Mickey. Oh, Mickey. Really I didn't cool. even see this one. It's a uh, Luigi. I know, I know. I, I meant the Mickey. But that's really cool. Oh, little hook, that's one of those little hook loop Mickey's. Hook and latch, I think. Hook and, latch. Hook and loop. That's cool. Is that's it a it. pillow? It would it's have just... been a kit. Oh, okay. It came in a kit, and then you would get the back fabric and stitch oh. it. My mom has nice. a friend who is a seamstress. That's all this. But I don't oh. know. This might be worth selling. Christmas, Katie. Christmas, Katie. <laughs> doesn't like wear out as easily. Find it. We're trying to find the other shoe. Allie found the shoe And she I wants. have the sandals of this, not the Birkenstock style. Good condition. And she found it I right found before. It. Right before. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take a better picture of it. What do you picture think she's worth? I don't know. That's why I want to get like a... Gang, gang. <laughs> oh my gosh. But the sell-through, so there's 685 listed and 150 sold. Uh, so it's not like a great sell-through. 
later. <laughs> Not the private pop up. Net material. Yes. That's fun. It's like ski, snow, and snow. Oh, wait. Nice design in there. Let's see. All together was like $31.90. I should have bought myself like, they almost bought myself some pants. $31.90. Free pants. I don't know if there was anything in there that you had wanted for me to pull out. Potato pants. Yeah. Are you high on the maidens? Um, I'm at like 200 to 250. Okay. I'll take the maidens out because I have like 50 maidens right now, 80 maidens. 600 bucks. Hey, really quick, don't mind our insane warehouse. We, we are actually back in Florida now, so the video that you're watching was a couple weeks ago. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to say, so the stuff that I bought, the vintage stuff that I bought at this little pop-up that uh, we did over there, which also, if the guys I bought stuff from are watching this video, thank you very much. I appreciate you doing that little special thing for us. But overall, at that little pop-up, I spent right at $4,500, and quite a few of those items have sold already. So the next clip that you're gonna see in today's video is me just flipping through stuff, and I'm gonna show you the items that have sold and how much they sold for. If I don't say how much something sold for, it means that we still have that particular item. We haven't sold it yet. So if you see anything in the videos that you want, make sure to follow us on whatnot or hit us up on Instagram or if there's anything again in particular that you're after from this video shoot us a message because we'll sell it to you Hank Williams sold for 24 Invader Zim 25 the wizard shirt 115 the Bonathon sold for $32 Kurt sold for $275 Deftones for 120 bucks USA shared 120, the Street Sharks 125, the Grateful Dead sold for $105, Stone Cold 69 bucks, ACDC 75, 150 bucks on the Slayer, Metallica 106, Taz sold for $46, Grateful Dead 68 bucks, Ozfest went for $41, Magic Johnson Hornets went for 141, Almond Brothers 27. Alice in Wonderland went for $79. Grateful Dead went for $71. Liquid Blue Elephant sold for $60. Another Slayer sold for $150. Invader Zim sold for $60. Look at my fancy finds. Oh, look at my. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> uh, 1998 Denver Broncos. Vintage shirt. And then, you uh, know this brand? Smart Wool. Smart Wool. Wow. A windbreaker. Oh. But that's like 45, 50 bucks. And then this is the Fast Five. Dixon. If you don't know that brand, you should. Wow. Dixon. What? Wow. This is eight dollars, and this is probably seventy-five, eighty bucks. So is this probably you know fifty to five thousand? Easy, bucks. easy, fifty to five thousand. I would like that napkin holder. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And they're footed. I've never seen anything like that before. Oh, I so found cool. some. Oh, huh? hey, what'd you find? Oh my gosh, Liz! Instantly when I picked it up, she goes, "Oh, get it. That's an easy sixty-five." What is it? So it'll be like uh, 48 to 60. It's okay. You're no, good. It's okay. <laughs> hey, we're filming over here. <laughs> we're filming. <laughs> Pop up. <laughs> Vicky Shell. <laughs> what is that? It's an expensive golf friend skort. G4. Okay. Oh, okay. So fancy. Fancy. Pinkies out. Fancy. Pinkies out. SpongeBob Allie, Pop up. Twice. Do you need help? <laughs> Ellie's oh my so... god, my eyes are so dry here. <laughs> Check it out, it's single stitch. Look at single stitch. This is from like the 80s. This is an 80s. It Denver must be, yeah. This is when it's they... It's actually from the OG 80s. They... And originally, 
they were the first to ever print on, on it's true album. yeah started so when you find this it's actually i think the last one went for like twelve hundred dollars at least minimum yeah. cheap day for that might be okay <laughs> <laughs> Stalin, <Stalin's out. laughs> Liz is like uh, <laughs> uh, uh. actually liz you want to tell us what we're doing today so what we're going to do is we're just going to go out <laughs> we're going to go to the to the place and then we're gonna go to Ark oh. and we're gonna go see the thrift store tour shop. Yeah. Excuse me really quick. And then <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> this is so cool. Whoa. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, this is like heaven. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like paradise. There are wow. so many vintage teas in here. There's so many everythings. So give me like, can we just take a little peeky peek? <laughs> little pre. Oh, she has that hat. <laughs> of course does. Little free thrift store peeky peek. No, no, take it. <laughs> just gonna, just gonna take this home. It was. I had that on the whole time. This is. Uh, more than I Fantastic. expected. And this is yeah. only one? There's yeah. more? Uh, the bales, I'll explain that over here. Bales. What that is, is bales. domestic product, what we call domestic. Send them to my house. The domestics are pillows, it's uh, linens, it's blankets, it's all those things. We bale all that, we send it overseas. I'll explain the recycle portion when we go to the uh, recycle warehouse, uh, which is just down the street, not even a mile. And then this room is a uh, product, which you guys already got excited about. <laughs> this is raw product, okay? So what we do here is with the 35 stores, we run it exactly like Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart. The company runs exactly the same. Every day, uh, the stores will order what they need. This is what we call small furniture. Small furniture is anything with a cord, outdoor, coolers. You guys can look through it. This is all what we call small furniture, okay? It gets sorted that way uh, at our donation stations and at our back doors. This is small furniture. So if a store orders small furniture, uh, our drivers will supplement the store with small furniture, okay? Because a store only knows what they need and what they sold. So if a store is short on certain different things to keep the shelves full, that's our job to fill the stores with the product they need. This is cloth, and that's what we call hard goods. Hard goods are knickknacks or brick brack, what they call it here. What you guys don't understand is, and I did this job for about a year, we have two categories of store, boxes, bags, and furniture is its own department. So what you do is you open a bag at, on a table, and you open it up, you look at each piece, okay? This is summer. This goes in a small box, which I'll explain in a minute, for summer, okay? This is fall, winter. This will go on a hanger. It'll go down the line. The ladies pricer will price it. We usually have a lot of different uh, community service workers who will bring it out on the floor and put it on the floor, okay? So as you go through each and every single piece, there's two people on the line that looks at every piece and you gotta be fast, you look at it, you smell it, you decide what you're doing with it. If it's not good, it goes in a yellow laundry cart and it goes to their baler. If it has a hole in it, it goes to their baler. No. Each and every no. piece, okay? Gets looked at, smell it, look at it, take, make sure it ain't ripped, throw it on a hanger price, it goes out, okay? Any questions on that? So, Maggie did Promise. She might have had a beer, but she said we could we could look at some of the stuff with holes. Because we yeah. know there's some sweet vintage T-shirts. Holes, that holes, never make holes, it to the holes. Floor. And she's and then we get here and she looks real scared and said you're gonna have to. Have but we have an answer to that because what we do with that is it gets recycled properly, sent to Karachi, Pakistan, sorted through sent to multiple other countries, de-threaded, re-threaded into new stuff that y'all are buying at Walmart. That's right, weird. and that makes us real sick. Right? They also do chemical, 
they also do chemical breakdowns. But stick with us because we are not opposed to, you know, change. This is going to evolve. And, and that's something that at the store happen. level is very challenging. And Eric, who's in charge of all the stores, is challenging because the process goes so fast. Yeah. yeah. I get 10 phone calls a day. Can I buy Gaylord's as a product? Right. We don't do bulk sales. We looked into it. We thought about it. We looked at warehouses. We also thought and uh, studied and did a lot of research. I did a course with a bunch of colleges about online. We've about, done five business cases. Yes. Five. Yes. We can't make it work. We just can't. Does, yes. does ARC do any e-commerce itself? Like, not really. Okay. I mean, we dabble a little bit, like a, a little a little bit, bit like on eBay, yeah. like a couple like little you. things here yeah. and there, but no. Not, not, uh, and a couple things. We're about, one of the things that we're known for is not selling online. Yeah. You know, that yeah. having that reputation yeah. can hurt you. So when I first started in a store, I wanted to buy freaking everything. <laughs> yeah, it was so bad, right? I'm like, oh my god, god. look. Oh so my god. fun. Oh my god, this is so much. This is so Nintendo. Yeah. Gotta have it. A little Tylos foot joy, okay. But now I don't even. Think now you don't even care. Yeah, now I don't even. Yeah. What if it was a pallet of helicopter parts? <laughs> oh my god, Vicky, this is so You know weird. what? That's, I have never, ever seen. A true hobby grade helicopter. Really? Ever. Oh wow! They cost too much. Yeah. Well, kind of like you know, twenty four karat gold diamond ring you don't see very often. Right. You know, people do pass away. But yeah, that's what all this is. So raw. This is just raw overflow. Okay. All of it goes to stores. Every single one of these will go to a store. All wrapped All huh? vintage wrapped teas. Dang, I'll just take that. <laughs> no, they are by store. This is okay, wild. You can handle it. Wow. I know. Yeah, you guys, so every store is responsible for This is fun, but it's also like my nightmare store, not being able to go through this stuff. <laughs> We're right by the rails. We, we load about three to five containers a day. Like the railroad. Yeah, oh, and they wow. go from our warehouse straight to the rail. Yes. From the rail, they'll go to either New York, L.A., uh, San Diego, which is yellow. I feel like I'm breaking, 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 the breaking the law, breaking, breaking the law. So these are hard toys, guys. These are plastic, all that. Uh, your little uh, hard toys, plastic toys, those kind of things. These yeah, are all so shoes. Just the sheer volume of what comes in and out every single week. Uh, Ness here has a uh, wow. about 60k a week, so that's challenging. There's the bales. Oh, oh the bales. Look, what's that? It's a little tie dye piece right there, huh? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude. Right crazy. I just want to open them. Let me open the bales. What's that? I guarantee you that's vintage. Look at that. We generally try to put these in the front of a semi rather than a container because when they uh, lease a container, they need to weigh at least 40,000 pounds. And it's hard to get 40,000 pounds. Oh, it's not. 1100 per bale. Yeah, so you can see the tags on some of them. This is all rag out. Uh, okay. okay. Right, it's been priced. And they like it. So so we get <clears throat> we get a little better price than say Goodwill because they know that this has been primarily all been graded once. Right. Yeah. Yes. Right. Right? So it's been pre graded for them because if it wasn't halfway decent it wouldn't have went on our floor. So that's how we can push back that's on the price. Because ours is better than just going to most of this stuff you said has gone through a store already. But you did say that when it's getting sorted, if it has like a hole or something in it, it also comes here? We we mix it in with rag out. Okay. Okay. So there's probably only 5% in there. Okay. Right? So we can justify it going away with the better quality. Because they'll grade it. There's... Uh, they're graders over there. They'll separate and they put them in small bales, right. and then they sell it in different as far as content. Right. From the warehouse to the actual thrift store, full circle. What are those? 
Is it poop? What is it? That's what I said. Is it brownies? Yeah, she told me what she thinks they are. Is it poop? You think it's poop, sir? <laughs> it's gotta be poop, sir? right? I don't know. It's poop. All right. The old newer prints. That's cool. AOP ACDC. This is a. Again, yeah. newer prints, Metallica. We've had this newer print quite a few times. That's cool because it's, it's puff print, though. It's a common reprint. Yeah, I love the puff print. Yeah. Allie knows sports. Who's that, babe? Um, it says it right there. Tim Tebow. Tebow, yes. Tebow, yes, yes. I He's think this been might in be commercials. Because he, um, he doesn't play anymore, so. Did he play for, like, Gainesville or something first? Well, in college, in college. he played for the Gators, yeah. The Gators, the Gators, yeah. See, I knew that. Yeah. I'm smart. 90s. Embroidered New York. I'll probably York. leave this one. Christmas sweaters. Where is this from? Oh, look, you got a bunch. I don't remember what that's from. What's it say? I don't know. Margo? Margo? Uh-uh. Christmas vacation. Oh. Uh. Like, Why is the floor wet? Why is the carpet all wet, Todd? I don't know, Margo. I found this Omega Watches set. Oh, that's cool. That's like 30 bucks, probably. Oh, Justin yeah. Bieber tour shirt. Oh, cool. So cool. Oh, my God. I'm literally jumping for joy. And then... Ryan can sleep in that. Does RJ want this? <laughs> That's cool. It's vintage. It's vintage yeah. United pilot wear. Made in the USA. That's so cool. Oh, RJ, do you want that? This is probably <laughs> like um, people on the runway, you know? Oh. Packing bags and stuff. It's definitely not pilot. So couture on the runway. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's like, no, 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 that's literally the opposite no, runway. No, no, no. Liz found one of the coolest Christmas sweaters I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. And it has a back. Look at the lead. Rudolph. Rudolph. And the check out the back. Santa World Tour. Seven continents in one night. That's amazing. This is it. Last thrift store of the trip. Sad days. Final thrift store. I found this guy. And he has friends, no. so I grabbed them all. Show me his friends. <laughs> you know what's funny? I probably found my find of the trip here, too. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah. We both did well. What? Show me yours, and then I'll show you mine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a polar bear friend. This one. They're kind of creepy. They're folk art. Folk art tends to be a little creepy. They're kind of like a... Slenderman vibes. That's like seventy dollars, but I don't know what's listed. I've only looked at sold. I mean, good job, babe. But we have fake sales anyways. So that's true. We lie about all. Of we our lie sales. about our sales. Even we, though they're in the solds on eBay, that's a lie. We find. We called thing. eBay and we we're like, "Hey, can you make this?" Oh, that's sold? true. Yeah, we did. We yeah, called we called eBay. them and we we're talked like, hey. to um, concierge Bri Brian Burke. Brian Burke. <laughs> yeah, he's in charge of lots of things, and we he were said, like, "Yeah, we hey. can make you fake sales." Yeah. And then they just like called some people and they just went into the back end of the system. And you know how like the systems on the game really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> right, look, 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 look. Made oh. in USA, Woolrich, blanket oh lined. Look at the buttons. Oh my God. Look at the lining. Look at the condition. It is a size small, but still. Look at oh this. Oh my gosh. This is probably like, I don't know, 150. Woo! Sorry, that was loud. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Get it? Vicky. Look what Ryan found. Blanket lined, made in USA, Woolrich. My find of the trip. Last thrift store. And I did not steal these from you. We both went down Isn't that cool? Style. Katie, can I do my dance? Can I do my look what do Ryan it. found yeah. dance? This is probably my find of the trip. Okay. Yo, nice. you mind? Nice. Right, chill, bro. <laughs> You're going to yes. be all right, I promise. That's awesome. <laughs> it's a really nice made in USA Woolrich why did jacket. I, why did I leave that? You left, I left it? there. Why? Wait, seriously? Because, I don't know. Nuh-uh. On the right? It's right next to a Pendleton vest that I picked up. Oh, well, it's still good. So cool. Oh, you you're it? welcome. <laughs> Do you see this shirt? Crazy. Get you better. It's like 100 bucks. This is, they're Amazing. listed for 250 that's actually really cool, though. Isn't I don't it? know that brand. I it, it used to be really good a long nothing, time ago, years ago. Nothing and I matches. Thought, and I was like, did it, like, fall out of... You know how brands fall out. Yeah. And I was like, did it start doing bad? So I looked it up. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh, trash. Put it back. Oh I'll gosh. take it. <laughs> <laughs> Vintage one for me. And this material? It feels so right. strange. It feels old, right? It feels like rope has deteriorated for years. It's crazy. Too bad. <laughs> uh -huh. 
So like I said, we are back home. We made it back home safe. All of our luggage made it safe. The way that we traveled this time was we got Southwest tickets. So we did Southwest Airlines. We took four duffel bags in our carry-on and then just kind of took everything back with us. A lot of our friends, so like most of the other reseller friends that were with us, they just boxed everything up and shipped it back. Um, and it's actually not that expensive to do that. I think it costs like between 30 to $50 for like a good large Home Depot box for them to ship their stuff back. So keep that in mind if you are traveling and you don't have extra luggage, you can just ship the stuff back. It's not too expensive. UPS and FedEx typically are gonna have the best rates for shipping larger stuff home. But I wanted to end today's video just saying thank you to all of our friends that we stayed out there in Colorado with. We wanna make this a like a yearly trip and we're even talking about doing another trip like this out to texas so it was a lot of fun everyone that we stayed with they're all awesome people there's there's no one that we just you know we didn't like hanging out with everyone's really really great so thank you ladies i had a great time ali had a great time and hopefully we can do it again soon and again if this is your first time watching our youtube channel or if you haven't yet please subscribe to the channel because this is what we like to do. We're getting back to our roots. Buy, sell, travel. That's always been our motto. Buy, sell, travel. And we're adding that traveling aspect back in. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody. Later.